What's up guys, Big Papa Drog back with another Raid Shadow Legends video and I hope that you are doing well. Send you guys the good energy per usual. Guys, we have a really fun showcase we're gonna do today. Uh, it's a champion that I pulled actually probably several months ago and I just never got around to building him and trying him out. Um, and I was like, you know what? I think it's time. Like they're releasing more of these faction unity champions it seems every month. Uh, we obviously just had the insanely incredible lizard faction unity champion uh come up and as you can see uh your, your boy got him but this video isn't about teox we're gonna do another video about that this one is not about teox nope this is a video about falman mornsword falman mornsword and i remember when this guy came out i was really excited i i pulled for him i was lucky enough to get him this was a couple months back and I was like, I think this dude could be legitimately useful in arena. Um, so that's what we're gonna find out today. How good is he actually? I've built him in some of my absolute strongest gear. Um, so I don't, I haven't really had a chance to test him. So I'm really curious to see like, what does this guy do? Is he actually useful? Because a lot of these faction unity champions are just okay at best. So I'm hoping that he's actually solid. All right, let's take a look at the skills. Lots of stuff going on here. We got Morn Sword. Attacks an enemy, heals this champion, champion by 50% of the damage inflicted. If there's a surplus heal, places a shield equal to the surplus heal, but will also attack using the Burned Courage skill instead if the target is from the Corrupted Alliance, which that's his A3. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I can't remember, and I don't know about you, I can't remember what Alliance is what, Nicene Union, Corrupted Alliance. I do not know when I am playing in arena what that actually refers to. So awesome that this can come into play, but frankly, I'm gonna forget that all the time. I wish there were a way, and maybe there is, you guys can tell me a way to just check that quickly in a battle. Um, I don't know if there is, but maybe we'll take a look later and see, because obviously attacking with an A3 instead of an A1, pretty awesome skill. Now we got the A2, attacks all enemies. Damage inflicted by the skill increases by 5% for each buff and debuff on the target so that's really interesting if you've got buffs and debuffs you're getting five percent per each one however it will ignore 25 percent of defense on targets that have no buffs so realistically you'd really rather see for the most part um enemies with no buffs for the skill to really hit as hard as it possibly can and it's on a three turn cooldown for an aoe so that's nice at least we got that then we got the burning courage which was forementioned also three turns uh, for the cooldown when booked, attacks one enemy before attacking, removes all buffs from the target, damage increases by 20% for each buff removed. So this skill could absolutely nuke in arena, just reading that right away. Now we get into the, the Sacred Order Unity stuff where you have to have Sacred Order champions on the team in order to unlock some of this stuff. So let's look at what it does if we actually have Sacred Order people on the team. So we have one ally before attacking, steals all buffs from the target instead. This effect cannot be resisted. Damage increases by 20% for each buff stolen. Is this? Okay, hold on here. Damage increases by 20% for each buff stolen. This isn't compounding on top of this, is it? No, it's it's probably just replacing this. Excuse me, it has to be just replacing this because otherwise it would be like 40% per buff. Like your <laughs> this skill would do like 20 million damage. It has to be just replacing the text here. But okay, so unresistible. But keep in mind, per usual, that doesn't mean not blockable, which means stuff like stone skin, this isn't gonna do much against. It's only a, a half 50% chance to strip. Two faction allies, the damage inflicted by the skill increases by 20% for each turn taken by an ally or enemy before this champion's next turn resets at the end of this champion's turn. This is insane. Like these two things together, where if you're stealing a bunch of buffs and now you're also getting a 20% increase for every turn taken by an ally, ally or enemy, that's nuts. This, this, this ability could be one of the absolute hardest hitting abilities in the game if set up correctly. That is insane. And again, two faction allies required for that. Then we got three faction allies. will attack all remaining enemies with any surplus damage if the initial target is killed. So this is very much like Siegfried's massive A3 that just destroys everybody. Same kind of idea. This attack cannot be critical. Okay, so it can't be critical. I think that's different. If the initial target survives, places a guaranteed true fear debuff on all enemies for one turn. Again, this is misleading. I guarantee that this does not go through stone skin. 
even though it says guaranteed. So this is something where they really should clean up some of the wording around here or just make it really explicit because it's not going to go through stone skin. This is very similar to Baron, uh, his, I think, A2 or A3 that has a guaranteed decreased defense, but it doesn't go through stone skin either. So this is super, super interesting. I think the hardest part of this is the fact that to, to get to the surplus damage where you're just nuking everybody, you have to have three allies on your team. And uh, we'll see like what we can build team wise, but I think that's gonna be a little tough in sacred order. Then we've got the passive, decreases the damage taken by this champion by e by 10% for each turn taken by an ally. I I what am I, ally? I can't read this correctly. Ally or enemy before this champion's next turn resets at the end of this champion's turn. So this is really, really, really good uh, because this means essentially you can build him to be slower and he's not necessarily gonna die right away all the time. If people are taking lots of turns, he is getting way more survivability. So super, super interesting kit here. Let's take a look at what it means when you have more allies on the team. We got one ally, fills an ally's turn meter by 2% whenever they place a buff or debuff. That's great, we always want speed. Two allies, we can place a revive on death buff for one turn in an ally whenever their HP drops below 50%. Also really good. And then here's the Mac Daddy. Three faction allies, all allies are immune to cooldown increasing effects. Oh baby, there it is. That's, hey, no more worrying about Warlord or Crixia or Yumiko or anybody else. You can't cool me down. That's huge. It just sucks that it takes three faction allies to get there. But still, the kit, like reading through it, the kit seems really, really, really solid. Like this guy could legitimately be a good nuker. Let's see what the reviews are. Reviews are pretty solid, 4.8, 4.8. Surprised he's not a 4.9 or a five in Faction Wars, considering that would be where his absolute best UK use case is. Um, all right, let's take a look at the blessing I put on him. Um, he's only four stars, so I went with Heaven Cast just to increase damage. If he were six star, I'm going Polymorph all the way per usual. Um, but Heaven Cast, we get a little bit of a damage bonus. He has some survivability built into him. I think the biggest thing we worry about in Arena with this guy, depending on build, is not getting turned into a sheep um, from someone like Armand's or from Sung Wukong, because obviously affinity-wise, he's Spirit Affinity, which means Sung Wukong has no problem turning this dude into a sheep. Uh, so yeah, I went with Heaven Cast. You could go with Polymorph. You could go with, uh, you know, if you're using him like in PvE, you could go like Cruelty or Crushing Rend, of course, if you've got him six star. But I think, I think Polymorph, again, per usual, is always the best choice. Um, with heaven cast, maybe a, a close second mastery wise. I didn't even, I didn't select his last mastery. What am I doing here? Oh my God. Draw. Come on, brother. <laughs> didn't even select the last mastery. What do I want to go with here? Uh, default skill chance to increase the turn meter counter attack. You know, I'm actually going to go with another counter attack only because of that ability to turn his a one into an a three. Um, if he hits someone from the Corrupted Alliance, which I think that's undead. We're actually gonna take a look at this in a second. But in terms of what I went for for mastery, it's pretty much standard stuff. He's not ignoring shields. So we went with Shield Breaker. We've got Helm Smasher down here. Um, I did go with Cycle of Violence to give him a chance to reset some of these skills. Now I didn't go Whirlwind of Death, um, only because I don't want him to necessarily speed up too much because I want him to get that damage increase and I want him to get that damage decrease. So I actually did go with Ruthless Ambush here to increase that first hit damage. Um, you could go cycle or warble to death if you just have real massive speed concerns. And to be completely honest, I might've built him too slow for the arena. I built him pretty freaking slow, but I really wanted to see like what he could do damage wise. I was really curious. And then over here, we got standard defense stuff. And again, double the chance to counter attack, which I think makes a lot of sense with his kit. Let's take a look at the build. So Savage, Crit damage, I put some of my absolute most absurd stuff on him. Let's take a look at it. Triple crit damage here uh, with attack, crit rate, speed. I mean, nasty, 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 even though it's an epic piece. Attack, crit rate, crit damage, attack ascension, crit damage, triple crit rate, all fun stuff. Mythical piece doesn't really help us, just gives a little bit more defense. Attack, speed, crit damage, attack ascension. Attack, again, triple crit rate. So this is like really solid gear. Definitely some good stuff. I pulled a lot of these pieces off of other champions to try to give them the absolute most damage, courtesy of Hell Hades, beautiful, uh, you know, optimizer. And then we got the crit damage, double attack, crit damage ascension. So really solid gear overall. And again, in a savage set, 
down here we go to the accessories and we've got double attack attack ascension so a little bit of speed crit damage crit damage ascension and then a triple attack ring with a full attack uh whatever enchantment so pretty good stuff let's take a look at what it adds up to what are the total stats here drock 8600 attack not bad for a base level not empowered champion but look at the crit damage my friends 400 percent oh oh yes 400 on the crit damage you love to see it and we can only we can only hit this kind of stuff because of how absurdly slow he is built he's built 158 speed um I don't know how this is going to play out for Arena. He might just get absolutely clapped and never take a turn. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. I think realistically, probably the best overall build for him for Arena per every nuker nowadays for the most part is going to be the one turn stone skin. Because if you can get three of your allies on there, you can't get locked out. You have stone skin to protect from getting controlled hypothetically. Again, Armand's is the main issue there. Uh, but again, like his his kit incentivizes other people taking more turns, so his damage just goes through the roof. So that's what we've done. We built him slow. He's a slow boy. All right, let's bring him into the dungeons. Let's see what he does. Where am I? Dungeons. Where's Dragon? Over here. Down to normal. Our normal test. And let's see what he can do. Now, again. I got to get people on his team from the Sacred Order. So let me just remind myself, who does that actually look like to so unlock his skills? Well, Siegfried for sure for Arena makes a ton of sense. He is extremely meta. Uh, who else is like, there's not really a ton else here that's meta is the problem. I think probably the one that makes the most sense is Cardial. I can see throwing Venus in there to strip things like Stone Skin. Um, so that wouldn't be a bad choice. <sighs> it's just tough because there's really not a lot of champions in this faction that are like your meta picks for arena right that you're like oh yeah i'm going right to this it's not that some of these aren't decent they're just not what you're going to pick to pair on this team but the, with the exception of secret secret is absolutely in the meta easy choice so secret probably cardial venus and then fallman makes the, mo the most sense i think just looking here you could hypothetically go something like sir nicholas built really fast to get up unkillable buffs but I'm not gonna build every one of these champions in order to maximize what Falman is doing. I just wanna see if I can actually win some battles with some of these champions as they're currently built in Platinum Arena. And the answer is probably no, to be completely honest, because speed-wise, we're gonna have some issues. So anyway, let's take him into, into a dungeon though. Let's take him into dragons and let's see what we do in dragons. Now, increase attack. I could use someone like Mordecai, but I'm just gonna roll with Arbor since we have five slots and we'll get all of his little buddies in here so Siegfried and we'll get Venus who does thankfully decrease defense and weaken and we'll get Falman and again he's got four stars love to see it uh and then we'll get who was the last one I was talking about the do Falman Venus Siegfried there was one more why can't I remember let's just do this sacred order Oh, uh, cardio. Okay, cardio makes a lot of sense. Now we could get even more damage with that crit damage buff there, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try not to use it. So, okay. Get more speed. All right, here we go. Let's see what he does. Really curious. We are going to boost with increased attack. We're going to we're going to put I guess, you know what? Let's yeah, why not? You know what? Let's get let's get the full picture of what this guy can do with his with his buddies. God, well, there you go. There's the A3. Apparently, we hit somebody from that alliance uh, and we nuked everybody. So there's a great example right there. And of course, that was without decreased defense and weakened. Uh, so there's a great example. Somebody from the Corrupted Alliance just got absolutely nuked. All right, let's kill. Okay, can we even get a turn here with Falman? We can get a turn with Falman. Nice. All right. Let's take a look at what the A3 what the A3 does because I'm really curious. We had what one two three four five turns because arbiter went twice so five turns which should mean that we get a 20 percent increase in damage yeah so we get a hundred percent increase with five so this should do double damage basically let's take a look at what the a3 does let's slow it down a3 burning courage oh my god oh oh one million 
Oh, good lord. Oh, it's it's naughty. Oh, it's a naughty skill. Oh my lord, that is that is insane. That is god god tier among god tier. Wow. Wow, wow, we wow. Like you know what? For comparison's sake, I want to use Siegfried's A3, but I don't have the decrease defense up yet. Let me see if I can get it back up. Hold on. All right, increase attack. Uh, I'm going to use this A1. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't want to use it on... Is she Corrupted Alliance? Oh, God, they're all Corrupted Alliance. <laughs> what, what, what are the alliances? This is pointless. I'm, I'm basically just... I'm really... God, he's building his dance. I can feel him. He's. This is like an episode of Dragon Ball Z where he's powering up. You know what I mean? Like... Really, I think you can really enhance your enjoyment of using Falman, where every turn you see that passive comes up, or you get a turn, you see that passive, like, ah, ah, you know what I mean? Where they're for like seven episodes just sitting there. Ah, the power, Kakarot! I can feel it! I'm getting stronger! Yes! Ah! <laughs> I really have too much fun doing this stuff. Okay, hold on. Let's let's see his A3 or his A2. This is the attacks all enemies. Damage increases the skill for each buff and debuff. So we're getting some 5%, 10%, and a 25% ignore on this champion for having no buffs. So this should be interesting. This is a one hitter. It is a one hitter. Let's see. 341, 400 something. Not bad. Okay, this guy can this guy can deal some damage, guys. This dude can deal, he can cook. He can cook a little bit. All right, um, let's go back. Oh crap, I did it again. I did it again. I forgot the Corrupted Alliance. Oh no. A3, here it comes. Burning Courage. <laughs> no crit though. So you see it doesn't do nearly as much splash damage as someone like Siegfried does. And we're gonna see that right now. Let's go into Siegfried. With Siegfried's A3, let's slow it down. Let's see what it does. Who did we hit last time? Did we hit this guy? I can't remember, we hit her? I'm gonna hit over here. Let's hit over here. All right, Siegfried, show him the skills. Rage in the 746. Oh my God, 2 million. I think there was a 4 million there. Oh, God. good Lord. Good Lord, Siegfried. Siegfried, my boy. Insane. Hold on. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. So, so obviously Siegfried has the insane splash damage. You don't get that from the A3 from Falman. And again, it requires way more setup because you need people to take more turns you need falman to be slow to maximize that damage and you ideally need people to not have buffs which is very rare in the arena nowadays so okay he's powering up till my last breath let's do this let's throw angel song on there let's get venus on there i want to do one more one more with blind infatuation here uh we'll just you know here die yeah look at that siegfried oh siegfried <laughs> All right, let's let's hit the. I don't know why the moaning really works for me for these videos, guys. It really, it really. There's something about just getting into it. Okay, let's slow it down. We're gonna go with the A3. Let's see what he does. All right, Falman, show me, show me big numbers. Come on, big money, big money, big money. 830, not bad. Again, you're not getting the same level of damage as Secret in the Smash, but 830 thousand. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, all right. Let's see what he does in arena. Let's see if we can make an arena team actually function. Again, I think the, the other big problem with faction unity champions is that they often require three champions to really get to that best, you know, skill, whatever buff, right? Best skill buff. And that's, that's doable in arena. It's super hard in live arena. It's basically not doable most of the time because people are just going to ban that champion. You know, you could... Maybe get around it if you pick Armands, you scare someone into banning Armands, and you're left with all champions like that, but it's tough. Corrupted Alliance is Undead Hordes, Demon Spawn, Dark Elves, and Knights Revenant. So this is actually like super, you want to talk about meta? A lot of meta champions in here, right? Undead Hordes, you got Seafy, of course. You used to have Necrot, who was big back in the day. Now, not as much for stuff like Live Arena. Obviously, Rodos, Ultimate Death Knight. Demon Spawn, you've got Duchess, who still factors in there. Not quite as important as she used to be. I haven't had a chance to try Comatus or Carnage, but can't forget Mythical's uh, Calamitous God. Disgusting. And then obviously Crixia as well. So Crixia and Narciss and Ancora also factoring here. So really that A1 becoming an A3, there's a, a Georgid. There's a lot of champs 
that are that are in or slightly outside the meta that this could really come into play with in arena if you can get and again it's what th is it three that i need how many do i need now is it three where the heck is this guy falman how many do i need no it's oh i don't need any i don't need any for this so it just does it automatically okay awesome that's big that's big 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 cool okay let's see what we can do let's see if we can get him into arena with a team that doesn't get me absolutely clapped we're in platinum arena we're at the bottom i think 330 you can't see but we're 334 of platinum so we're not we're not high up there at the moment solidly in the middle uh okay what have we got here man i'm so much i'm trying to think like i'm gonna be slower than all of these teams for sure okay there's no lockout here not that it would matter this is a really low level let's start with something low level and see what we can do right so we're gonna go got to go seek friend we'll get the attack aura maybe we got to go i think cardio maybe we'll go speed on cardio actually uh so we'll go cardio uh shh, come on we'll go cardio we'll go falman and i i do think venus makes the most sense because stone skin he's not ignoring stone skin she has a chance to strip i think there's anyone else that makes more sense from this i just don't know i don't think i'm gonna be fast enough is the problem here my cardio isn't super fast and obviously he's built really slow so this is gonna be interesting i mean i don't know what to expect let's find out together i think the thing with falman is you might have to just kind of only pair him with one maybe two at most sacred orders like i could see it making more sense to have siegfried and cardio as opposed to also venus when you think about meta um but we'll, we'll find out here so okay anybody on here actually we could hit this and get the the a3 version uh but it's not going to do anything with stone skin so i guess we just hit we'll just blast uh we put a poison up unfortunate we're stunned and and oh 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 okay he lived he lived he's living living okay okay all right beautiful He's, he's, he should have massive survivability. He does. He does have massive survivability. <laughs> I, th I think he's going to die here. Uh, seek for here. Just hit everybody, Seek for. There you go. Yeah, pop back around. Yeah, he's cooked. He's cooked, but he's back. Oh, the speed problem is really an issue here. Uh, this, this isn't going great. Uh, I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. Oh, he lived. That was a weak hit. Are we actually getting a chance to see this ability? We are. Okay, sick. What makes the most sense here? I think the A3, because he's had, well, he died, so probably not that many turns. And unfortunately, Harima's, uh, can we kill a Harima? I don't know, let's find out. We did, and we hit the rest. Let's go, not bad. Not bad. Okay, well, yep, yep. Um, we gotta keep him. We could actually now corrupt an alliance, not not there, the Shadowkin. Let's just try to kill the Harima. Okay, we did get the kill. Beautiful. And he's healing on the A1. He's got that A1 heal. Huge. Huge. And again, he's built so slow. He's built so incredibly slow. <laughs> All right, let's try the A2. Yes, it's it's working. I mean, this is a super low-level team, but it's happening, guys uh do i want to use this right now i think i want to hold off try to heal a little bit more okay 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 let's just a1 okay he does get the kill of the a1 and now they go and i'm in deep i'm in deep stuff no 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 we can't we can it we can it no she's done me no no not like this oh he's we come on don't die till your yes power up use the sensu beam dude what he's not even taking damage Okay, now he's taking damage. Oh, oh, he's healing. He's how is he still alive? You can't kill him, my boy. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Dude, what in the world? Bro is a monster. What? What is going on? This has to be a bug. <laughs> this has to be a bug. Dude is immortal. He is immortal. You will not stop him. Seriously, what in the hell just happened? what the world bro would not die he just said no 
He just said, and that is the craziest thing I've ever caught on camera in Raid Shadow Legends in three and a half years of playing. The dude just would not die. I don't know what happened there. What, what, what could have, hold on. Let me read. That has to have been a bug, right? That has to have been a bug, right guys? Hold on. We had everybody on here. Decreases damage. Revive of death whenever the HP drops below 50%, which he got occasionally, so he came back. But how the hell did he live? That has to be a bug. There, there, there's no way that's not a bug. There's no, I mean, like, that was insane. The dude just literally tanked everything under the sun. What in the world? Okay, that was nuts. Hold on, let's get back. Let's get back to Platinum. We just lost Platinum. Or no, I guess technically these are all still Platinum teams since it doesn't reset everything. So we can still... We can still make it work. Uh, is there anyone that we actually could hypothetically beat? So much Armands. Uh, I don't think we're going to be fast enough to do this, but let's try. Let's try. Dude, that was crazy. Somebody tell me what happened there. Does anybody know? Anybody know what the heck happened? Because I have no idea. All right, can we... Oh, she doesn't get the... Oh, I forgot. Without Cupidus, she doesn't get the ability to strip. Oh boy, oh boy. That's a problem. We're about to get absolutely blasted. But we do have decrease or revive up, so we come back. And thankfully our, our buddy Siegfried stays alive, so we still have we still have hope here. Only problem is with Falman now, we're not gonna get to his turn, are we? Dude, he is a f bro is a tank. What the hell? He is such a tank. I think that's, dude, I think that literally his passive works, that damage reducing passive works, even if he dies. That is the only way he is tanking two hits from Taurus. What in the world is happening? This is insane. Bro is immortal. Oh, dude, this is, what is going on? Can we kill the Seafy? Did he live? All right, dude. He's glitched. <laughs> he's so he's glitched, guys. There's no way he's not glitched. He has to be glitched. He has to be. We don't. Oh man, now we're stuck in a tough place though because we can't use. We can't use any of this stuff, and the stone skin is still up. We'll just, we'll A1 here. Oh my God. Has anyone just blew through the stone? This champion is nuts. What the hell is going on? This champion is bonkers. That was his A1, but I guess it gave us the A3. Now that I think about it, his A1 became the A3. So we got to save the A3. Oh, this champion is so big brain. What the hell is going on? Dude, this champion is nuts. What? He's glitched for sure. Like, he's definitely glitched. Without a doubt. But, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, can we can we do it? I think we can. can we, we can just do it again with the A1. We can just hit the A1 again. Boom, bang. Now he's going to die. No, he doesn't die. What? <laughs> what? What? Oh, this, 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 this champion is nuts. Let's just kill, let's kill him here. Bro. Kill them all! <laughs> what in the world? Dude, this champion is insane. Oh, now I'm really, man. Hold on, guys. Now can we actually make this a viable thing? Let's take a look. Wow. Where? Or hold on. Can we make this viable with one or two switches? How many? Hold on. What do we need on him? What do we need on him here? What does he get? He needs to get. He needs to get at least two factions. So we have to have at least two to really unlock this ability, and then this ability becomes disgusting. Bro, this champion is crazy. So if we can get two, I think we can replace Venus. Let's try that. Let's try replacing Venus. 
Oh, this is a dude. This is a fun showcase. I, this champion is busted. All right, let's try. Let's let's try here. Let's try here again. Not a high level team. I think Cardio still makes the most sense. Let's roll Shuzen. Or do we need to be able to res? Increase attack. Let's let's roll Shuzen. Let's roll Shuzen. I want to see if he can actually survive this if we kill someone. That's the big thing. Can we survive this? Oh, I didn't get I didn't want to kill everybody with Siegfried. Like normally I would have just blast everyone with Siegfried. Now we're in trouble here. Oh shit. That's 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 a problem. But he lives anyway. The, what the f bro, what? The, the dude is literally insane. The dude is insane. I could I could nuke everybody here, but I'm not going to. Let's let's kill Armands. Oh, he's glitched, dude. He's glitched. He's glitched for sure. Okay, we know for a fact. He took no damage off that. He took zero damage. None whatsoever. He is definitely 100% glitched. <laughs> my bro is like come at me son come at me bro you want some of this yeah do you do you want some how about you get some <laughs> wait what no what wait, how did I, I thought that was the a3 that was supposed to nuke everybody what the f what that was oh did i not have enough people on it oh i didn't have three allies that's why oh god i gotta remember that three allies Good, dude, this is hilarious. All right, well, we've 1 million percent demonstrated that he's absolutely broken, like actually broken. Um, so yeah, now you know, he's broken. Uh, that's gonna be the title of the video for sure. The dude is legitimately unkillable. Is this against everything? Hold on. Let's try some harder teams. Here we go. Oh, this is, this is interesting because we're not gonna have, how are we gonna get locked out here? Good God, they really, they, they cooked this one a little bit uh, too long. I don't have lockout. I don't have lockout. There's no way he lives this, right? Yeah, he's going to die. He's going to die here for sure. Okay, he's getting, everyone's taking turns. He resisted that by some miracle. He got locked out. Okay, here comes the big boy annihilation. Okay, he did die there. He did die. They've got Siegfried too, so I'm cooked. <laughs> this is so... F <laughs> None of this makes any sense. All right, he's dead. We'd have to basically let Siegfried... All right, we're just going to kill them all. Just hold on. Just kill everybody with Siegfried. All good. All good. Uh, let's just kill Armand's. Armand's the main issue here. Then we'll try to pop the passive on the Siegfried. Lock active skills. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, look at look, it's a seek for an off here now, guys. It's a seek for an off. Oh shit. What if oh she's gonna be able to lock me out though, isn't she? Possibly. Can I lock her? Maybe I can lock her. Nope. Okay, we got lucky. No, no. They're taking turns. Oh, we did awesome. Oh no, oh no, look. I got I gotta kill her now. I gotta force it. This this is supposed to be a Fallman showcase. It's really going well here. <laughs> all right, all right, enough, enough. Dude, this is crazy, man. This champion's legitimately broken. This champion is legitimately broken. Let's try him again. Let's try him again with like a more a more standard stuff. Let's take out the cardio. Let's we gotta leave at least one. We need. We need, what, what, what does one get us again? God, it's impossible to remember. Steals the buffs. Those allies turn meters, it doesn't give us this. So his A3 doesn't become God tier with just one. Dude, if they ever release another truly meta like support champion for this, for this uh, faction, he could be absolutely top tier. Like obviously he's not working correctly. Something is wrong as we can tell, but Man, I'm really, I'm like really curious now. All right, let's roll with, we'll throw Warlord on here. Let's see what this does. 
We don't have any revive though, so we actually should probably switch over to Arbiter just in case he goes down for the showcase. So let's see what we can do. But let's lock them out before they lock me out. Dude, this is crazy. What a crazy, crazy development. Oh, uh, now the lizard actually might still kill me. Uh, assuming kill the Yumiko. Okay, we did get the Yumiko. Wow, we blasted the Armands as well. We'll take that. Take that off. Okay, here comes, we're dead. Here comes the lizard. Lizard definitely doing work. Okay, they just popped off now. Pop that passive, which isn't good for us. So now we're really in trouble. I think we're gonna lose again. Yeah, we're definitely gonna lose. Well, maybe not. Okay, he did die. So you basically have to get at least like three or four different turns in there in order to really make it happen. So seek for really tough for him. Who else we got in here? Oh no, I just fell out, so we gotta go back in. Oh, well, these are definitely like, uh, yeah, this, okay, yeah, this is definitely a, uh, let's go up Narciss. Yeah, let's try Narciss and then Korra. Dude, we I wonder what's going on here. Something's, something's going on. His stuff definitely isn't working correctly, right? Like we're seeing that for sure. And again, he's built so, 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 so slow. Let's get rid of her. Push him back. Again, he's not taking, he's taking so little damage. Every time they take a turn, just doesn't matter. He takes less and less, and less damage. Okay. We got the A3. We're going to get buff increase. Let's see if we can get some kills. Affinity problem. I hit the Armands. Let's see what the A3 does. Okay. We did get the Arbiter done. Probably should have just used the A2 there. Oh, took some damage on that one. Oh, no. Oh, no, Armands. No. No. Not like this. Okay, again, he's still living it. The damage reduction. I'm going to go ahead and just nuke here. Let's just win. But the damage reduction is just crazy, guys. The damage reduction is crazy. Let's see. Can we get a Taurus Marishka team in here? Oh, look, here we go. Here we go. There's another really good team. Another, oh, but the Yumiko, probably Yumiko might even be faster than me. Let's try. Man, not having that splash damage hurts on that A3, though. That's such a difference maker if you can get that splash damage. And you have to have three allies for it to happen. So it's really tough. But his passive is just bonkers. His passive is truly terrifying. With the ability to just, like, sit here. Imagine him in, like, stone skin build, too. So you can't sleep him. You can't do stuff. And he just sits there. And just waits. Let's see the AOE. Ooh. Wasn't good. We had a, a reaction piece here, unfortunately. Yeah, this guy's got multiple reaction pieces on the Narciss. But again, he's he's like the dude's passive makes him so hard to kill. He is just really hard to kill every time someone takes a turn. All right, we got rid of the Narciss there. A2 wasn't really doing it for me, though. The A2 did not impress me. So crazy. Man, I, I don't want to report this bug, but I kind of have to, you know? Let's see, let's see if we can get the kill. We'll let him, we'll let him use uh, the A3 again, or see if we can get back to the A2. I'd like to try. All right, now we'll just A3. Okay, he didn't get the kill there with that the A3. So you see the damage difference when you only have one ally on the team versus two. So this is what's really tough. He's so close to being potentially really, really, really good for Classic Arena. It's just you don't have the champions, in my opinion, to bring out his best that are also meta that makes sense. Let's take another look. Let's just take another look and see. Is there another possibility that makes more sense? He's really interesting. I mean, obviously he's propped up immensely by the fact that he can't die. But is there another way to build a team here that makes sense? I mean, in today's meta, you could build a super fast cardio. So you could build a super fast cardio for Classic Arena. <sighs> super fast cardio, maybe a fast Venus Cupidus team could work. Then you get the ability to potentially strip. You're not stripping with Lazea. She freezes, but she's not stripping. The problem is just how do you get around the stone skin? How do you survive? I mean, honestly, maybe Sir Nicholas. Sir Nicholas, Cardiol, Venus. Something weird, right? Something like that. Who do you have on the epic side? 
I mean, Mordecai gives you increased attack, but again, I mean, you could do Deacon. Certainly, if you're lower level, Deacon, Godseeker, and Neri makes actually more sense. Even Shemail, potentially in some things. So you actually have better options along the epic side of stuff, I think, than you do even necessarily in the legendary side. Really interesting, though. The dude has some interesting stuff going on. It's just, can you get... Can you get to three faction allies so that A3 becomes really disgusting, especially when it, the A1 becomes the A3 if you're hitting someone from the, uh, what, the Corrupted Alliance stuff? Really, really, really interesting. I don't think he's, like, someone you'd want to run. I just think, like, you have to have at least one champion with him. You really do. Sealing the buffs is big. Again, it could be a sheep. I mean, maybe not. This passive still works no matter what. Oh, man, I'm so intrigued. But he gets so much better if you can get to three. Ah, that's it for now, guys. This is one of the longest showcases I've done. What a, what a really interesting champion. You can see there's potential for incredible damage. It's just, who do you pair him with? Let me know what you guys think. I mean, mod could totally work. If I had mod as a rezzer, mod could work. Because she's also giving increased attack when she's rezzing. And she's decreasing duration of all enemy buffs. So hypothetically, she's, you know, knocking some of the stone skin out too. Mod actually might make the most sense. I mean, look at this. Mod actually, I kind of think Mod is the best solution for him, weirdly enough. I just don't have her yet. Matthias, this is like another damage AP thing, right? Also new, yeah, he's damage. Taunt could be helpful to keep people alive. Man, really tough. Just really tough. Like, he, he's just missing one or two really strong meta champions to unlock everything he does. There's something potentially in there. I mean, Rosh card for block damage. There's a lot of different things you could do. Obviously, Sir Nicholas, keep people alive. Oh, so interesting. So, so, so interesting. All right, that's it for this showcase. Let me know what you think down below. Obviously, he's glitched. Like, we have to say something. He's definitely not working correctly. He is for sure glitched because he just was tanking everything there and just not dying. Um, so something's going on there that's messed up. But even outside of that, even if they get that still working, he was really tough to kill even when it looked like it wasn't glitching. Like he was taking very little damage. So super interesting champ. Let me know what you think about him down below in the comments. Let me know what you think about the teams. And uh, yeah, I mean, I shocking. Not, not a bad Unity champion whatsoever. So... We'll see if maybe another champion comes out sooner, if mod is the key to making him a little bit better than he is currently. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the showcase. I will catch you on one soon. Have a wonderful day. Big Papa Drock out.